he was impressed that I knew to do that. Now, when I was working for uh, one of the many jobs that I've had in my life was a maintenance man at a summer camp. This was many, many moons ago. But uh, when I was working there, the camp director sent me into town. He said, go into town, go to the grocery store, and he wrote it on a piece of paper. He said, buy Fells Naphtha Soap. And I was a young guy, and I didn't know what the heck Fells Naphtha Soap. It's a, a bar of soap, and it smells really, really strong. And so I did. I went, and there was like a, like a buck a piece or 90 cents a piece, and I bought a bunch of them and brought them back. And he said, that's for poison ivy. He said, the Fells Naphtha Soap, when you get poison ivy, what have you got? You've got that oil all over your skin, right? Yeah, you do. And you have to get that off of there. And how do they do that? Well, they would take the little camper kids, if they got poison ivy, they'd send them into the shower with a bar of Fells Naphtha Soap. Now, I'm not telling you to do this, you know, on a daily basis, but they would rub it over the oily part, the poison ivy, it would pull that oil out and it would dry it and it would help it heal. Wow. Guess how much this costs? about a buck and you can get it at any grocery store any walmart any place like that so fells napa so what about other things that you can use to prevent the itching and so forth skin so soft skin so soft not only is it good for your skin but it keeps away those little no seams those little biting gnats that you that are almost impossible to see but they get all over you when i was on paris island the one thing that they let us do was write letters to our moms and tell them to send us skin so soft to keep the sand fleas off of us. It's always good to pack gold bond powder or the equivalent of gold bond powder in your pack, uh, in your camper, wherever you're... Bleep, bleep, bleep. That's all, folks.